click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to never miss another update. On the occasion of the martyrdom of Imam Hassan Askari, people were offering their condolences to Imam's brother Jafar on the martyrdom of Imam and congratulating him on his leadership. Abu al Dayan drew attention to the signs that Imam Hassan Askari had given, went ahead and offer condolences like the rest of the people, but Jafar did not ask about the letters. Jafar proceeded to offer the funeral prayer of Imam. Abu al Din said to himself that if Jafar offered the funeral prayers of the Imam, then surely he is the twelfth Imam because only Imam can offer other Imams funeral prayers. As soon as Jafar wanted to say Allah o Akbar, a beautiful child came forward and grabbed Jafar's clothes and said, O oh, uncle, come back and I will offer prayers. Jafar's face flushed and he retreated. Someone asked, Who is this child? So he said, By God, I have not recognized or seen him till today. After the prayer, the boy turned to Abu al-Din and said, O oh, Abu al-Din give me the answer to the letters. According to the signs given by Imam Hassan Askari, this beautiful child is the twelfth Imam of Shiites. He gave the letters to the Imam. He was very happy to see the Imam. 9 Rabi ul Awal 260 AH In the age of 5 years he became the Imam. Those who saw the Imam for the first time could not believe that they would accept the leadership of a 5-year-old child. They were talking to each other. A man got up from his seat and asked, How to obey a 5-year-old child? We have so many elders and scholars. One child will become our Imam and leader. Abu al-Din replied, Imams are like prophets. They are chosen by Allah and they acquire knowledge and wisdom from God. If we are not able to do something then there is no reason why Imam cannot do it. God gave Jesus prophecy in his childhood. It was Allah who gave the Imam the power to become Imam at the age of five.